Oh yes, it's supposed to be videoing. How fantastic. It's quite shaky, I see what's up there, man. Hours of unusable footage. You're gone. Come back. Come back. I think it will be the best to use the tripod kiss this. Too shaky. Actually, like stand to you in this same position for like half an hour or something. Yeah. I'll bring my child up. It's funny really, it's almost like a very contemplative way of filming. Mm. So are you trying to shoot a film? Yes, I'm just shooting footage basically and hopefully edit it afterwards and then again just shifting the focus just by rocking backwards and forwards. Yeah. Because it's just, you know, the depth of field is only like a fraction of a millimetre or something. Yeah, exactly. But occasionally you get it lucky and just a bee just wanders out straight through the, the focal plane and then takes off. But most of this footage will just be boring as sin. Not as sin as I say that boring. But I mean, if this is actually, it, if this is capturing in high def, you know, there'll be a lot of detail actually of the bee behaviour. Yeah. And it's really amazing that you can capture that just with, just with, you know, not with the budget of David Attenborough. Oh yeah, look at that pollen. Oh, oh Mr. Pollen, we'd like to see.
You can actually see them come running out of the hive, clean their faces off and then take off. It's, really, it's, it's actually more information than you'd see just from watching them. Fantastic. You okay with the bees? They're not menacing you at all. Yeah, they are okay. But one or two of them are a bit aggressive. Around, yeah. yeah, it's okay. Have you tried being stung by bees? Um, I haven't been stung recently. I mean, obviously, when I was a kid, I've been stung previously. Really? Yeah. How was it? Really painful. Not particularly. It's more the shock. It's it's kind of. It's sharp at first, and then it kind of burns. It's a, sort of a chemical reaction afterwards. It's just like any other insect bite, really. There's nothing particularly nasty about it. Okay, one out of space? No, the lens is not focused. Ah. It's not that one focused. Only by the Mm-hmm. Thirty five mm -hmm. Back off that. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I really like just watching the bees, to be honest. You know, it's a bit like looking into a log fire. Yeah. It's just like stuff going on, but it's not particularly demanding in terms of grabbing your attention. Just like, watch it. Mm, you know, kind of getting a little bit mobbed here. I think I'm causing a bit of a traffic jam at the entrance to this hive, because it's not a very big entrance anyway, and all the bees are returning for their, on their last flights of the day. Still. Um, right, how do I change the F setting on this? What do these numbers mean even? Oh, there we go. Okay. Aha. It's getting darker and darker and darker. Right, it's so taken down to F8. Take the frame rate back up to a six. Exposed. Okay, so that's F8, 40 for the second, ISO 800 on the 5D Mark II. I've got no idea whether that's horrendously dark or not. Let's try to up the lens a little bit. Okay, that looks a bit better. F5.6, 140 for the second. Apocalypse! Yeah. Um, so what are you shooting with, Charles? Huh? What are you shooting with? Um, no, just still pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, with um, a dedicated macro lens, or? Yeah, yeah. It's really hard. Ah, oh, Mr. Drone, why hello? Oh, yeah, so there's two different types of bees you'll be seeing, um, Charles. So the small ones are the workers that actually do everything useful. Yeah. Occasionally you see a fat one, and that's a drone. And those are the males of the hive, and they basically do nothing other than eat, and then go and reproduce, and that's it. 
they don't even help like fight wasps or anything you know they're literally just useless creatures <laughs> and they're really big and they just sort of stump around <laughs> getting in the way while all the female sterile workers are uh, busy doing things yeah. Maybe you can just see them clean and then just take off in like a buzz of the wings. It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, this camera is, I'm quite impressed, as much as I am a film philistine. Yeah, why? Why am I a film philistine? Huh? I don't know, genetic. I don't know, I just always felt that, you know, any still photo, and I think this is probably still the case, you can achieve it. Ooh, hello Mr. Pollen. Uh, with much more cheaply with traditional film camera. Mm. Like the second hand market's amazing essentially, like the, the, the quality of glass that you can buy from the 70s and 80s. But this HD movie recording ability of this thing is just it's just I mean it's just stunning. With with all your expensive proper glass with all your real lenses. Yeah. Look at that space here. Yeah. It's hard to shoot with the travel. Yes.